Hello parents and students. My name is Mr. Swenson and I would like to show you a few things about submitting work in Google Classroom. So first I want to show you how to manage a discussion question, how you can attach or create a Google document from within Google Classroom, and also how you might attach a picture or if you were doing math work, how you would attach pictures of your math work. Other videos not covered in this topic are going to be uh, using calendar, attaching multiple pictures as one file, uh, treating this as a separate video because it's so many steps, and then also an intro to Google Classroom video. So let's go ahead and jump on in. So let's see here. You have a desktop view here and the iPhone view over here. So in your main page on the desktop view of Google Classroom, Here's your home page, and if you had other classrooms, then there would be little squares all tiled next to it. And notice over here on my phone, I also have, uh, I would have others underneath this if I were in other classes. Notice what's shown up here. If you saw the intro to Google Classroom, this text was not available because there hadn't been new assignments posted. So since we've joined the class, new assignments have been posted. So on the top is the stuff that's due most recently or soonest. So due tomorrow is how to use math. And I don't know what else it says, but over here it says, how did you use math this summer? Then section two questions, but even the phone gives even more options here. So let's go ahead and click in and see what that looks like from both our perspectives. So notice here that the top is the most recent post, but it's not necessarily the, the thing that's due soonest. So notice upcoming over here tells me that stuff is due. Oh, this one's due tomorrow. So it's actually down here. So you might want to double check using uh, this upcoming tab over here. Or notice if I go to calendar, it also tells me when stuff is due here. Again, check that video out using Google Calendar as well. So let's go back to our classes here. All right. John Kilcoy, please call or come to the office. So let's see here. How did you use math this summer? This one is available. So let's go and click over here in our phone as well. So how did you use math this summer? So my teacher posted, good morning students, in, in the your section, uh, your answer section, please briefly describe two ways that you used math this past summer. So where is the your answer section? Now your teacher might not always state your answer, but notice over here it says your answer. And the same thing over here in on my phone. It says add class comment, but really your answer is what where it's going to be. So I can type it right here, or I can type it over here in this section right there, type your answer. So uh, I used math by counting my allowance money and calculating the area of the grass. Something like that. Now when you're done here, you can hit submit or rather turn in. And the same thing would happen over here if I type something right there. Notice now I have the turn in option right there. So it doesn't matter where I do it. Uh, I only want to do it in one place though. I don't want to confuse Google. So I'm going to exit out of this. Oh, this says your changes are going to be lost. And, and yes, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to discard in this case. Now over here, I'm actually going to turn this in and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So this is now turned in. You won't be able to make changes. Okay, I'm confident this is my answer. And there we go. And so we can see also my other my classmates. Uh, if the teacher permits you, you can reply to your classmates and say, hey, that's a great job. I did that too, something like that. And so here's what my answer looks like. Uh, and it's already posted. So um, now my teacher can, can grade that. And uh, they, he or she can read my responses. So there's the first one. How did I use it? And that was a class discussion. So let's go and see what other options we have here. Section two, so this one here says, good morning class, please create a Google Doc and answer the questions from section 2.1 on page 122 in your textbook. So I randomly made up these numbers and then you're gonna hit the turn in button. So what does that mean? Well, 
Notice over here, I'm going to add or create. So if I add or create something, I'm going to actually create the Google Doc from here. Now, if I had already done this and typed this up, I could go to Google Drive and find that file here and post that if I wanted to. But uh, let's say I'm just going to create it right now. I'm going to create a document and it's going to open up and create this assignment right here. It's going to take a moment, but notice what I like about this is that it actually names the file. Notice it gives me my name, Section 2.1 Questions. Now, I can go ahead and, and type, uh, you know, number one, what, when was the Civil War fought? Okay, uh, so that's the first question from my book, and I'm just going to answer that question here. The Civil War was fought during the years, etc. So I'm just going to blue, 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 blue. And now number two. Number two. Who fought in the Civil War, the American Civil War, etc. All right, and then I could answer that question here, etc. And now, notice this actually gives me the option from within this tab to actually turn it in. But let's say I'm not done yet. And what's nice here is that Google automatically saves this. This is saving the whole time. So even if this window closes, that's okay. It closes fine because I can still active uh, click on that and see, oh, look, nothing was lost, even though it uh, clicked out. So um, I'm not ready to turn it in, or maybe I am ready to turn it in. So now I'm ready to turn it in, and I just hit turn in. Okay. Now over here in the phone, it wouldn't have been so easy because look, I can add an attachment, but I don't have the option. Well, I guess I do. Look, new option. Uh, I can create a new doc from within there. And then once I open that, look, it gives me the option to open it up in Google Docs right here. So if you had that separate app, you could open it and type in uh, your Google Docs just on your phone as well. So you have that option here. So I'm officially done with this. So let me go ahead and turn this in. And over here, I'm just going to exit out. Now, look, because I created one on my phone and one in uh, on my desktop, notice what I have here. I messed up. So let me go ahead and notice if the teacher gives you the option to unsubmit, I'm going to unsubmit that. And I'm going to actually unattach one of these. Now, I don't know which one it is. So if I select the top one, uh, oh, that's the one that I was typing in. So I'm not going to, I'm going to keep the top one. I'm going to um, unattach the bottom one. And let me just double check here that this is the one I want. Yes, it is. And now I can turn this puppy in. And there we go. That's turned in. All right. Now let's come back to our main page here. And it actually says here, draw your favorite number. So I'm going into this assignment, draw your favorite number. And it says on the blank piece of paper, you're going to draw uh, your favorite number. And then you're going to submit it as a picture in your, your work. Now, it's not so easy to do on the desktop without the camera. So I'm going to show you how you can do it over here on your phone. So notice here, it's going to say add attachment. So I'm going to add attachment. And notice it's given me a couple different options. I can do a file. I can pick a photo. I can use a camera. So I'm going to use the camera. And I'm going to permit it to use this and now I'm going to take a picture here. Now notice one thing I want to do is pay very close attention. A lot of students like to take pictures like this and angled funny um, and that clearly is uh, not as clear as it should be. So I would suggest hovering directly above like so and trying to get it in entirely in the frame as best as possible. Something like this and now you can click go and I'm going to use the photo there. And now notice it says it's uploading here. And now I can mark it as done if I've completed, uh, or I can keep adding, et cetera, if I would like. So yeah, so we see that it has shown up. And over here, it hasn't shown up yet. But if I hit refresh, I'm going to see that it, it shows up. So look, there it is. It's already shown up over here. So now I can turn that in or add additional attachments like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that in, and that's done. Now, if I want to go back and double check and see what my work looks like, 
here I have that picture. Notice that it's not cropped. So your teacher might want you to crop better. And in fact, in another video, I'm going to show you how to do a better scan, especially if you're using more than one piece of paper, like a multi-page math work, for example. All right. So that concludes this lesson for today. We showed you how to answer a discussion question, how to attach Google Documents or create a new one. You can attach pictures, more than one, uh, if you want. I'm going to show that in a separate video and other videos using Calendar and also Intro to Google Classroom. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at wswenson at bbrsd.org. Thank you very much.